Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as once more we are going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15, the show. So as you know, last time we won that 7-1 route of the Baltimore Orioles. R.A. Dickey, I think, pitched, what, eight and two-thirds? He was immaculate for us. So let's jump ahead to the Minnesota Twins games here on the weekend of the last week of May. So let's go sim through date and a loss there. John Birdie, 15 day DL, and fix the Fisher Cats lineups. And Joel Peno, 15 day DL. Fisher Cats need a rotation. There we go. And looks like we're winning quite a few here. We're 26. Okay, and 15 day DL. 28 and 21. We're a half game back of the Red Sox to start the year. That is fantastic, and it looks like our scouts need a directive. So I'm going to just give our scout here, this guy, and we will go with this guy. We want a second baseman. There we go, that's what I want. Boom, sign the scout, good to go. So there we go, that is huge. We will jump ahead in this game with Drew Hutchison facing Kyle Gibson on the mound. And we are first in the AL all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. Maybe the Red Sox lost today. And Troy Tulowitzki is over there. Actually, hold up. We're only a minute 30 in. Let's take a look at our lineups. It looks like Devin Travis is killing it. So is Josh Donaldson. Troy Tulowitzki is doing awesome. And carnacion has got a 300 average. Jose Bautista not getting it done, but I'm sure he will. Deonor Navarro, 296. Russell Martin, 323. Michael Saunders, 284, and Kevin Plar, 259, our second worst average, but he's seven home runs and 13 RBI. Justin Smoke, Chris Colabello, and Danny Valencia, we're killing it so far on offense. Our pitching, two guys over five ERA, R.A. Dickey and Aaron Sanchez, but it's only by 19 points at the most. Not too bad at all. Roberto Osuna has 16 saves, so let's get into this game here play against Kyle Gibson and we want to play lock as Jose Bautista we're gonna make him the DH and we're gonna put in Chris Colabello out there in right field today there we go that's our lineup let's go ahead and jump in we are actually tied for first in the AL East with the Boston Red Sox so with a win today we can move one game ahead of them and end up 29 and 21 so that would be huge for us because, like I said, we were 16 and 17 to start the year, and now all of a sudden we are in the mix to lead the division at the end of May. That's fantastic for now. I mean, does it hold up? I'm not sure, but you know what I mean. So here we go. Let's go ahead, and Bautista will come to bat with the Minnesota Twins leading 1 0 here in the top half of the second. Here comes the pitch. And Bautista's going to rip it right down the left field line. But that'll be foul as he was just early on that pitch. And we're going to try and get another hit here. Oh, and the two-seamer rips right down through the zone all the way to Bautista's knees. And that's a swing and strike. And Bautista strikes out on the curveball, so a bad start at bat. And the Blue Jays needed more out of Bautista, who's been struggling all year. So now 6-0 to the Minnesota Twins. Bautista comes to the plate here in the top half of the fifth. So the Minnesota Twins are definitely trying to remove the Blue Jays from that tie for the top spot in the AL East. Here comes pitch number two. And Bautista early on the changeup. That could have been gone. That could have been a home run if he made solid contact. Try and get that high fastball though, but we're not going to. Bautista will just follow this one off. So come on. We need a good pitch here. Looks like we got to follow it off. Bautista swings over the top of this one, and the catcher's going to be able to play that over to first easily. I think that's Pinto there, and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Blue Jays losing 6 0 here in the bottom half or top half of the seventh. Runner on first. So come on, Blue Jays. Need a big hit here. 
And Bautista's going to deliver that big hit. It's going to get down into the gap, and Bautista's going to be into second with a double. So runners at second and third now with one out for Chris Colabello. Come on, buddy. You're into this one. You should be able to do something. He grounds out. And Russell Martin will come to the plate. Okay, Martin has had a good average. He should be able to get a hit. He strikes out. So the Blue Jays go down, falling 6 nothing here against the Minnesota Twins in this game. So let's take a look at the what happened. It was the leadoff men couldn't get it done. Tulowitzki and Carnassio and Bautista had hits, so did Saunders. Tulowitzki and Saunders had doubles. Pilar and Saunders had two, or uh, pardon me, they both had errors. And then you had Drew Hutchison only actually giving up four earned runs, so his ERA stays around 3.5. And Scott Copeland went scoreless over five and a third innings. That's beautiful relief pitching from Scott Copeland. So there we go, guys. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Catch you in the next one. So long from Yak City.